Does color matter with your favorite bass fishing lure? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. I know, I'm gonna catch a lot of grief on this one because everyone has their opinion. In this video, I'm gonna to try to give you more factual stuff instead of opinion. But again, you're gonna hear my opinion on a lot of things in this video. The video is meant to teach you more about what the bass is seeing and you can use that information to use the right color in the right circumstances to catch more fish. It's about catching fish, but I understand if you don't agree with me. So to start off, do bass see color? Great question. Bass are kind of like a person who is colorblind. They see certain colors and other colors that they don't. Bass are a tend to see greens and red better. They also are more aggressive to those colors because they can see them better. But as a bait falls through the water column, that, that tends to have a big effect on what colors they see and what they can't see. For example, red vanishes very early in the water column. As, that, as your bait is solid red, we'll say, and it's falling through the water column, that bait tends to become a silhouette at about 16 feet. Your oranges are about 25 to 30 feet, orange colors, and then your yellows at 55 feet, greens a little bit later at 65 feet, and then your black and blues are at 75 to 80 feet deep. So with that in mind, and you know the, the water depth that, they're, that you're using, you can target the right colors to catch those fish. And this is the reason why watermelon pumpkin seed is probably one of the most successful and popular colors out there. Green and red inside the bait is the first two colors the bass see, that they see the best and they also attack the best. So those natural colors like the fluke and the baby bass is always a good color to throw because the bass can see it. Once it gets down deeper, all they do is see a silhouette. So if we know the water column that we're fishing, we know what they wanna see, what they will see because of the UV light and so forth, then targeting the colors that they are gonna see or the silhouette that they're gonna see is gonna be very important. Let me say up front, if you're confident in a color, I think you should stick with that color. Just use it. Don't worry about the water quality or the dinginess or the cloudy day or the, just use that color. Confidence is a huge part of fishing, a huge part of being, putting that bait where it needs to go or putting it or knowing how it works in a certain, at a certain depth or a, an action. So using, having that confidence of the bait is ultra important. Don't worry about the color. They're out there to catch you, not the fish. What you have to remember is that water absorbs and blocks light. So your red color is vanishing much faster than your blacks. But even though that color is vanishing, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have a silhouette. I was taught or was told many years ago that color really had nothing to do with lures. Why? When was the last time you saw that color on your favorite forage fish. You probably haven't. When was the last time you saw blue and black on your favorite forage fish? You probably haven't. But those baits have the right action and that action is felt by the fish. So while color has a little bit to do with what, you're, what you should be throwing, in the grand scheme of it, it really doesn't. Are you crazy? Now on your sunny days, you should be using your silvers and your golds in that upper water column. Your top water bait, silver is a great color. And on cloudy days, when the UV light is stronger, you can use those brighter colors, those big yellows and greens like this one that I've never even ever seen. They're all hung up, but those colors, some of those colors you don't see. You see orange on the bottom of fish, but you don't really see them on the top. But you have to remember, those lures are meant to catch you first. Those lures are meant to catch you first. If they catch you, hopefully after that they're going to catch fish. But the action of the bait is the most important thing. Colors have an influence in that water, uh, that water column. If you have super clean, clear gin waters, that bass is more targeted to something that's more realistic, more natural looking on your murky and cloudy, dingy waters that 
I think most people have, like I have down here in Florida, I believe that your black and blues are more important because they have a bigger silhouette in the water. So having that confidence in that color is a huge part of fishing and catching fish. And that's very important. How many times have you went to the store or or whatever, saw a lure and it wasn't very good, it wasn't very appealing because the paint wasn't very good. And you thought to yourself, nah, I don't want it. But then you see that live target or that something that's very intricate and detailed and you go, oh, I want that for sure. We've all done it. We're all, we all are sight people first. It's like food. As crazy as it sounds, if I don't like something the way it looks, I'm not eating it. That's the truth. It's the same way with our lures. If we don't like the way it looks, we're not gonna, even if you buy it, you might not have the confidence to fish it well because in the back of our head, subliminally, however you say that word, we're thinking, oh, it doesn't look like the original. That isn't how it works with bass fishing lures or colors. Those colors do disappear in certain water depths, but they're not that, they're not as important as you might think. Depending on what kind of water, water column that you're fishing, really your, if you're fishing deeper water, uh, your colors are just vanished as is. They're seeing a silhouette or an action or a vibration that they're getting off the bait and attacking that, getting a re reaction strike. Now your upper water columns, your top water baits, there's a little bit more that has to do with, with, with color. Your silvers and golds and those things attract fish because they add a little bit of shine. But again, the action of the bait is really the most important thing that you have. Again, it comes back to confidence a lot in the color of the lure that you're using. If you're confident in it, use it. Don't worry about what I say or what this pro that you like says. Use what you're confident in first. Make sure it has good action, make sure it does what it's supposed to, but make sure you're confident in that lure because you're gonna throw it better, you're gonna throw it in places that you normally wouldn't do, and you're gonna catch more fish. But color is to catch you first. Remember that, please remember that. Because like I said, there's certain colors that vanish faster in the water column, and there's also certain colors that bass are more aggressive towards. And so if you know that, get those baits first, try those baits first, gain the confidence in those baits first, and get out there and go fishing. Really, get out there and go fishing. That's the most important thing. When it's all said and done throughout all the videos that I do and the closer looks and all this stuff, the most important thing I want to do for you is to teach you to become a better angler, but to also catch more fish. And I hope if you realize that color isn't as important as you think it might be, it might help you start catching more. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I feel like I do this all the time when I'm talking to the camera. I probably am. I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.